My name is Irina Vodenska. I'm financial economist at Boston University, United States of America. We need financial regulatory reform. Most academicians and practitioners agree that we need to reform the financial system, which is happening with the Dodd-Frank uh, Wall Street Reform Act, Basel III, which uh, mainly means um, increasing the required bank capital ratios, uh, especially the capital requirements uh, for uh, trading books and securitization exposures, addressing the bank liquidity coverage ratios, and most importantly, reducing the bank leverage ratios as excessive leverage was a crucial factor that was blamed for the most recent financial crisis. We built a risk propagation model that is based on a bipartite network structure with banks on one hand and assets on the other. The damage through the system spreads bidirectionally between the banks and the assets. We find that as the cascading failure process propagates through the network, certain banks start to collapse. And the banking system approaches a critical point when it experiences an abrupt phase transition from stable to unstable state. Our main contribution to the Forecasting Financial Crisis Project is to study the most recent U.S. real estate market collapse as an extreme event, its relationship with financial markets, and the aftermath that it left on the global banking system. We simulate crashes on specific real estate assets identified by bank balance sheet analysis and study the cascading failure process throughout the entire banking system after imposing initial shock on selected assets. We show that not all assets are created equal and some bear higher responsibility for the most recent global financial crisis compared to others. Our model identifies significant portion of the truly failed banks for the period between 2008 and 2011 when uh, over 350 banks in the United States failed. What's missing in the current approaches to financial crisis is close collaboration among legislators, practitioners, academicians to create and adjust the tools that can be helpful in keeping the financial system more stable, better regulated and, most importantly, away from wide swings between too much regulation right after a crisis and then too little regulation as good times come and financial market participants become annoyed by not being able to fully implement their innovative ideas because of existing regulations. What comes to mind is, uh, for example, that the use of derivatives in form of synthetic or structured instruments needs to be regulated. Structured derivatives need to be registered with an authority, such as the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, just as ordinary securities need to be registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Now, many derivative instruments are not registered because the transactions in these instruments were executed by sophisticated investors. These instruments did not serve to add liquidity to the financial system, did not have any social benefit to the societies, while what they did was cause a destruction of trillions of dollars of wealth. Derivatives were used to create imaginary value and consequently contributed to significant loss in value. This simply should not be allowed to happen again. <music>